everyone welcome to my channel and thank you for being here with me today and happy halloween i hope whatever you do you enjoy and have lots of fun this reading is for anyone who feels drawn to it you could be involved with someone and this may describe a situation that you are going through or have been through or it can also give you a heads up of what is to come so you can keep an eye out for the signs so firstly I will see what is going on in this situation and then we will look at the outcome and I will get you some advice at the end. Let's begin. I will do these readings every week for you so if you do want more love readings from me then keep an eye out for those. These readings are to help people in connections or for those who are looking for love. I myself haven't been very lucky in that department. I am currently a single Pringle. So I do know how hard it can be to find somebody. Hopefully these readings will give you some clarity. Also on this channel I do energy check-ins for the sign of Aquarius as that is my sun sign. So if you are an Aquarius or have that in your chart then check out some of my other readings. Okay, let's see what these cards have to say, shall we? Oh, that was quick. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. If you would like a more personal reading with me, you can find that information in the description of the video. I've got a website there. I've also got an email address. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I love answering questions and helping people. I've also got some pretty good deals on at the moment on my website, so make sure to check that out. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, we've got quite a few cards here. That's interesting. These cards are telling me a story, so give me a moment while I just connect with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm picking up is that you don't really know where you stand within this connection here. This connection may have started off with some dirty text messages. Perhaps there was some flirtation going on. Um, you were communicating with one another. It's upside down. And you both were being flirty. I see that you were having fun within this communication. It seemed like harmless fun at first, but it has kind of pulled you in a little bit and kept you on your toes. You are interested within this connection here. This person does interest you and you do want to see where it is going. So that's how it started off with some texting back and forth that turned flirty and may have even ended up being sexting <laughs> as the card says here you made this person want you but this person isn't really someone who is ready to commit fully i don't think they are a very mature person here they try to manipulate you and to pull your strings they may have told you what you wanted to hear this person is good at communicating. They are able to give people what they want to hear in order to get what they want from them. They are basically a puppet master. They, are, they have mastered the act of manipulation. So this is a heads up about this energy. They may use their fun and flirty text messages as a way to keep you interested and to keep you guessing about this person. Things may have got a little serious or at least you thought it got serious. They may have introduced you to their family which made you believe that this was going somewhere or perhaps you introduced them to your family because you thought that this was going to last and you thought it was more serious than what it was. I'm hearing this person wants to have their cake and eat it. So they basically want it all, but they don't really want to sacrifice anything of their life. 
they still expect you to be loyal to them and to treat them as if they are your one and only but deep down there is some feelings that are unexpressed here i can see them keeping things to themselves they aren't being fully honest with you here this person may look good on paper they may be telling you everything that you want to hear and they may just try and give you what they think you want but really if they were truly honest with themselves there is something hidden beneath the surface here. There is some feelings that they aren't expressing to you because they think that you are not on the same page as them. I'm kind of getting a feeling that this could be an ex that has returned and they've told you what they wanted you to hear. And because you thought it was going to pick up where it left off and you were going to jump in and be more serious together then you went along with it. For others of you, you may have been on a break with this person and then you decided to reunite. And I also get a sense that they, they may be still in contact with old ties here and they may be speaking to other people from their past. Or one person in particular. And they are trying to keep this from you and because you do care about this person you are refusing to see the truth this person has been able to pull the wool over your eyes they have manipulated you into believing that their intentions are truthful and that they are in this for the long haul. They aren't being fully truthful with you. They may be, tell, be, they may be too scared to actually tell you, look, this isn't as serious as I thought or I'm losing feelings here. You both may look like a power couple to the outside world here. There may be an act that this person is putting on because they feel that they have a duty to you or they have some kind Kind of responsibility and they do want to look like the ideal boyfriend or girlfriend here. I feel that this person worries about what other people think of them which is why they try to pull off this act here so they look like a good person and that they treat you right but they are tempted to um, leave or tempted to start something with someone new here they may be messaging someone I can see that something isn't right here they aren't being fully honest and they are considering leaving even though they are acting like everything is okay they just aren't being very honest with you I do see them flirting with other people here or considering other options. They are looking for a way out and perhaps trying to see what they can jump straight into so they aren't left on their own for a long time if they do leave. This, of course, is very childish behaviour. They just aren't man enough or woman enough to take on the responsibility and have a mature and honest connection with you this is their problem it's not yours it's like they fooled the outside world and you but they can't fool themselves and I also get a sense that maybe they are acting immature or childish lately or they did in order to put you off them so you would end up with them because they haven't got the guts to do it themselves and be honest with you. This person does clown around here. They do act like a clown and they are an immature person. They just aren't someone who's grown up and I think they are trying to live in a fairy tale where they are mature, they are responsible and they are trying to live up to what they think they should be but in reality that's not them and they just aren't ready for this right now. So this is the story that I'm seeing here. Again, it could be past tense. Perhaps this is something that you have been through. It could be something you're going through now or it could be something yet to come. So please be mindful of the signs here because this could be universe's way of giving you a heads up. So let's jump in with the tarot cards now and see what's actually going to happen with this situation here. I'm going to get the outcome so you can choose whichever path is best for you. And as it's Halloween, why not stick with the theme and use my Nightmare Before Christmas deck? I just love Halloween. 
Let me know what you are doing for Halloween in the comments section. I haven't really got any plans tonight. I hope I get some trick-or-treaters though. I've got some sweets ready for them. My daughter went to a Halloween party at the weekend. She really enjoyed it with her friend and she was dressed up as an angel. It's far from the truth though as she's a teenager. <laughs> If you've came as far, why not consider subscribing? I'd love to have you back again and I'll be doing these love readings a few times a week as well as my other videos. Let me know where you're from in the comments section. I love to know where this video is reaching and if you've subscribed, let me know that as well and drop your sun sign. I like to know who my subscribers are and who I'm reading for. I just love the community that we are building here on this channel. Everyone is so supportive and nice. I really love to read your comments and I appreciate every one of you. Okay. We have quite a few here. The first card we have here is the Ten of Candles, which is known as the Ten of Wands here. It tells me that this is going to be too much on your shoulders. It's too much of a burden. You're going to be feeling like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders here because this is a connection that's hard for you to carry. Especially since they aren't really putting any effort in, you will feel like you are doing all of the work here, which isn't ideal for you. And because you are the one that's carrying the load, you will also feel like you are in a vulnerable position here because you haven't really got that supportive partner alongside you to help you carry this. This is reminding me of someone who is all talk, no action. And because you can't really rely on them and it's all on your shoulders here, you are going to reach a point where you need to erect some boundaries so that you can protect your inner peace and this is exactly what you are going to be doing here. This is too much for you to carry and you know how fragile it is. This is why we have the seven of candles here. This is you putting them walls up. You're not feeling safe in this connection anymore and you are feeling vulnerable. You aren't really sure of your position in this connection because the person that you are dealing with isn't really giving supportive energy towards you and this is going to make you really sit back and think well this person hasn't got my back they are someone who I can't rely on which is why you will push this person away further and I think you will start to build up these walls as you see how instable inst the instability that this person has here they aren't someone who means what they say, they make promises they don't keep and their, their behaviour is childish, they aren't a responsible person, they aren't someone who you can build with, which is why we have the King of Needles here. The King of Needles is also the King of Swords, but obviously Needles in this tarot deck. Now, the King of Needles is someone who uses their head to lead them rather than their heart. And this is what you will be doing. You will be thinking about your best interest here. Sorry if you can hear a dog snoring in the background. I am dog sitting at the moment. I think he's chasing some cats. <laughs> So yes, the King of Needles here. This is someone who is able to think more logically and I think you are going to see the obstacles in front of you but you will try and find a way past these obstacles. You're going to be using your intellect. You are a very intelligent person. I can tell that with these cards and you are someone who when something just doesn't feel right with you, you aren't going to continue this. You're going to realise that you have all the tools that you need to make yourself okay and you have your own back. You don't need this person in your life who is wishy-washy. They are, they are either in or they are out and they aren't someone who you can rely on. That's not what you need in a partner. You need someone who is more supportive of you and your dreams. The magician is someone who is 
very resourceful. You are able to look at what you need in life and make sure that you have everything put in place in order to create the life that you want to live. And it's when you start to believe in yourself and you really put that faith and restore that hope, you realise that you don't need them. You are fine just on your own and you have all you need to see things in a different way. This is why we have the hanged man here. This is you finally seeing things from different perspectives. You're actually going to see what this connection is is you're going to be faced with the truth of it and you will actually be able to see things more clearly here I think you're going to get a lot more logical answers coming towards you and it's going to make you look at things from every angle perhaps people around you are telling you that this connection is no good you're actually going to see it now because you may have been blinded before with the um the emotions attached to this connection and what you wanted it to be but obviously this hasn't planned out how how you wanted it to be it's not what you need it's not giving you what you want in life and now you're kind of going out of the fairy tale and you're facing up to reality here. This may have been a nice idea, but it wasn't reality. And that is what you need to be focused on, which is why the hanged man is there. You need to see things in a different light. And when you do, I've got the three of candles here. This is new opportunities coming your way. You're actually going to get another offer. I can feel another offer coming in for you. So don't worry about this connection ending. It won't be your only connection. You're going to have different options to choose from. And when once you do realize that this connection isn't the one for you, I think something different is going to come in. This will be like a weight lifted off your shoulders. You will feel ready to pursue new adventures. And I see you outweighing your options here. You will be deciding which path you want to choose. And you will notice that different doors will begin to open up for you. And that this connection has been the thing that has been holding you back. Oh wow, what you don't see coming here, we have the Hierophant. This is lessons. This is you learning lessons from this experience. So whatever you have gone through or going through or will go through, it will teach you and you will level up because of it. I can see that this situation right here will be able to give you the lessons in order to make things work in the future so you will learn from your mistakes i've got the knight of wands here this is you following your passions being creative and making sure you go on a new adventure here you're going to be feeling so passionate and excited yes this is you leveling up definitely you're going to be reaching for the top and we have the tower the tower here it represents you bringing something to the ground in order for you to build something new upon it something needs to end so that something new can be built but it will be a challenge you will be faced with some obstacles here i can see that but you will rise up to it and when you do, I've got the four of um, presents here, the four of pentacles. You're going to have some energy left over to invest in the things that really matter to you. Instead of investing it into something that is no longer serving your highest good, whether that be people, um, time, effort, energy, money, anything, you're going to be more vigilant on where you are spending it. I'm just being nosy now. Look, on the flip side, we've got death. Death is a transformation, so a version of yourself with, will end, so a new version of yourself will be born. Wow, big things are happening for you, but first, you need to cut the dead wood. You really do. This is not what you deserve in life. You deserve a lot, lot more. And I hope that this reading has helped you and given you some clarity. Now, let's get you some advice. I've just heard there that you are going to see your true worth. Brighter days are definitely coming for you. I think that's it. 
So the first one we have is Deep in your heart you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That's very true. Listen to your heart and your intuition. Only time will tell. So I think the events will unfold within the right time and you will have the answers you need. We have sacred union. Honour and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. I think you're going to have someone new coming in. I have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. That's very true. You do need to have some more fun in your life. Try to reconnect with what matters to you and give yourself some time out. We have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. I think for a time now this has brought you down but now it's the time to put that focus back onto you. You will feel a lot lighter once you do this. Make yourself a priority is what I'm hearing. We have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. That's so true. You can't change this. They are who they are. Sometimes they just aren't meant to be in your story. And that's fine. It doesn't mean that your story is ending. It just means that you need to turn the, the page and enter a new chapter, a one where is more natural and you don't have to force it because you will only end up disappointed and hurt. When it comes to it, matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love, which speaks of the lessons that you will learn from this experience. So not all is lost. You have got lessons and experience from it to move forward and to make sure that you do it right next time. We've got reflection here. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Things will work out for the best. And you will begin to see that this is the right decision. It will all make sense in the end. I really hope that this has helped you and I wish you the best of luck. Please don't forget to subscribe and come back again for another. I'd love to have you back and I want to wish you a, a brilliant week. Have fun, take care and stay safe. Bye for now. Love and light to all of you.